Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you two methods for forcing the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on any kind of Mac. So this is a 14 inch M1 Pro and this will actually work on the 16 inch M1 Pro or any M1 Mac or iMac that uses a built in 16 by 10 screen. So you might want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you want to do screen recording and you want to be able to fit the standard YouTube format or instead of 16 by 9, you want to record in 1080p. However, all of these MacBooks have 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So when you actually do a recording, it's going to look at the wrong shape. It's going to have black bars on the side. So if you want to avoid that, we want to use 1080p or we want to use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So the first method I'm going to show you is called the dummy plug method. So I'm going to leave a link to this device in the description. So this device is something that you can do. You can just plug it into your computer. And what we're going to do is mirror it as if it's an external monitor. These are normally designed for headless servers, so computers without a display, and you can plug these in and then you can enforce a certain resolution even without a monitor. However, it's also helpful in this situation because we can mirror the internal display onto the headless display, and then that will force an aspect ratio on the computer. So on this MacBook Pro 14 inch, what we can do is just plug it inside here. So we can just plug that device in, it's glowing blue there. And you know, once that's plugged in, I can just go to my system preferences here, go to system preferences, then I can just click the displays button. And it's already detected that we have uh, two displays here. So if I unplug this, it's just gonna say one display, and then here we've got two displays now. So once we've got that second display in, what we can do is go to display settings. So we're on macOS Monterey here, and we've got these two displays listed here. We've got built-in retina, and then this code here, which is, represents this HDMI plug. And what we can do with the main display is we can ask it to, to mirror for the HDMI plug. So we're going to click that now. And it, it's already gone ahead and done it. It's already forced it into an aspect ratio. So here it's saying that it's basically 1920 by 1080. And that's kind of what we're looking for anyway. If we wanted to change that, we could actually change that here. We could click that button and it's... This is a 2560 by 1440, which is also a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, and basically that is the simplest way of doing it. Just be aware that every HDMI plug is different. This one is only rated at 60 hertz for 1080p. You might want one that is higher hertz rated if you were doing a 120 hertz recording, for example. If you don't have an HDMI cable, what you could do is buy one of these USB-C hubs with an HDMI plug inside it. Plug this into the USB-C end and that's, that's engaged and turned on. And then that aspect ratio has just been forced so you can now record in 16 by 9. So the second method I'm going to show you does not require any hardware. However, it does require you to potentially buy some software. So I'm going to go to the website Switch Res X. I'm going to download this preference pane. So this is literally the only software solution that I could find to make this work. So what you do is you go to the download page and we scroll down here. And then we click on the free trial version and we can download this and we can work on it for a few days. So once I've downloaded it, I'm going to open it up in Downloads and then double click on the installer, click Open. And what we're going to do is install a preference pane. I'm just going to install it for me. Let's type in the password. And now we have the preference pane. So this preference pane is very handy. When you go to System Preferences, you can find the Switch Res X pane here, and then you can click this button, and it'll get this window to come up. And what you can do is click on Color LCD. So that represents this particular screen. And the most useful thing is that we can go to Current Resolutions. So this displays all of the current resolutions that we have. And this is very helpful because we've got things like High DPI, so that refers to the pixel retina doubling. And then we've got all of these resolutions, got 120 hertz, 60 hertz, etc. However, what you'll find is that none of these are 16 by 9 aspect ratios. These don't come as default, especially for the M1 Pros and the M1 Maxes. So what we need to do is to set a custom resolution. So what you do is you click on the next tab here, and we've got an option here to add more custom resolutions. So you click this plus button at the bottom here, and then we would basically type in what we want. So I'm going to type in 1080p, but this also works for, say, 2560 by 1440, but I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Now, what's happened is that it's saying that it's not saved, so we need to save it. And basically what we do is we close the window and it'll ask us, do you want to save? And you click save. Normally what happens is that we need to restart the computer first. So I'm gonna open up the preference pane again, 
and then check the custom resolution. And it says here, need to reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer by clicking on that and then click restart. So now that the computer is restarted, we're gonna go back to system preferences. Then we're gonna click on the switch ResX preference pane. And uh, what we're gonna do is click on color LCD and we can click on custom resolutions and then make sure that it's active. So basically once it's active, we can go to the current resolution section here. And basically we're gonna find our 1920 by 1080p resolution here. So we might need to scroll down a little bit, but basically I can see it here now. It says 1920 by 1080 at 120 Hertz. All we need to do is click that little radio button and then we've switched to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's uh, hidden the notch. It's uh, basically the aspect ratio of almost every single monitor in the world, apart from all of Apple's monitors. And uh, now when we do a screen recording, we won't have those black bars. We'll be able to share our video content with the rest of the world. However, we have lost a little bit of vertical productivity space, but that's how it goes. This is also much easier for gaming as well. So if you play games on your Mac, you have trouble with the aspect ratio, then you can force an aspect ratio using this method. So those are the two methods for forcing 16 by 9. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.